Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video, we'll talk about what liquidity means in crypto. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntax Verse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. You've probably heard the term liquidity tossed around in crypto, but what does it actually mean? And why does it affect your trades, your tokens, and even entire protocols? Let's break it down clearly, simply, and without fluff. Liquidity refers to how easily an asset can be bought or sold without dramatically changing its price. In crypto, this usually means how easy it is to swap a token, how much of that token is available, and how stable the price remains during that trade. If a market is liquid, you can buy or sell without much delay, slippage, or price impact. If it's a liquid, your order might take longer to fill, or worse, you might move the market just by trading. Why liquidity matters in crypto? Liquidity isn't just a technical detail, it impacts everything. Fast trades, high liquidity means smoother, faster transactions. Stable pricing, prices stay more consistent, even with large trades. Lower slippage, you get the price you expect, not some worse rate. Protocol health, DEXs and DeFi projects rely on strong liquidity to function. Low liquidity can result in massive price swings from a single trade front running and MEV exploits difficulty entering or exiting positions. If you've ever tried swapping a small token and got a terrible rate, that's low liquidity in action. Now, let's discuss centralized versus decentralized liquidity. In centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase, liquidity comes from market makers and order books. Buy and sell orders are matched directly, like in traditional finance. In decentralized exchanges, DEXs like Uniswap, liquidity comes from liquidity pools. Users deposit pairs of tokens like ETH and USDC into these pools. Then other users can trade against those assets at prices determined by smart contracts. No middlemen. No centralized order books. Just pure peer-to-peer -peer liquidity. That's that, but what is a liquidity pool? A liquidity pool is a smart contract that holds two tokens and a 50-50 ratio. Anyone can add funds to it becoming a liquidity provider, or LP. Let's say you deposit 1 ETH and 3,000 USDC into a pool. When someone wants to trade ETH for USDC, they use your pool. In return, you earn a small fee from every trade proportional to your share of the pool. Liquidity pools are the backbone of DeFi. They power swaps, lending platforms, yield farming, and more. But they come with risks, especially in permanent loss, where price shifts between tokens can eat into your gains. Slippage, the hidden cost of low liquidity. Slippage happens when the price of your trade changes between order and execution. It's usually caused by low liquidity or large order size. For example, if you try to buy $10,000 worth of a token in a pool that only has $50,000 total, you'll likely push the price up and get less than expected. That's slippage and it hurts. Always check the slippage tolerance in your wallet before confirming a swap. Now, how can you spot good liquidity? Before trading or investing in any token, ask. How deep is the liquidity? What platform is it trading on? What's the 24-hour volume? How much slippage is expected? For smaller tokens, also check if the liquidity is locked or owned by the project. If a project controls its liquidity and can pull it at any time, that's a red flag. Projects with deep locked and decentralized liquidity are safer for users and traders. Liquidity is the silent force that keeps crypto moving. It affects how easily you trade, how stable prices remain, and how secure protocols feel. In DeFi, you can become the liquidity by providing it to pools and earning yield. But whether you're swapping tokens, farming, or just holding understanding liquidity helps you avoid surprises and trade smarter. Next time you hit swap, remember, it's not just about price, it's about how liquid that market really is. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.